if the base and height of a triangle are equal to the length of the side of a square, how does the area of the triangle relate to the area of the square? The area formula for a square is s times s, where s is the length of one of the sides. The area formula for a triangle is area equals one-half base times height, where the length of this side here would be the base, and the vertical height would be h. But in this example, we're told the base and height of the triangle, or b and h, are both equal to the length of the side of a square, so we could replace both h and b with s, the length of one of the sides of the square. So if this is the case, notice how the area of the triangle is going to be equal to one-half times s times s, and comparing this to the area of the square, area equals side times side. Notice how the area of the triangle is going to be half the area of the square. So we'll say the area of the triangle will be half the area of the square if the base and height of the triangle are equal to the length of the side of a square. Of course, if we wanted to, we could also look at a specific example to see this relationship. For example, let's just say that the length of the side of the square is, let's say, ten inches. Then that means the base of the triangle is also ten inches, and so is the height. Well, we know the area of the square is going to be equal to ten inches times ten inches which equals one hundred inches squared. And for the area of the triangle, we'd have area equals one-half times ten times ten, which would be equal to fifty square inches. So looking at a specific example, we can see the area of the triangle is half the area of the square if the base and the height are equal to the length of the side of a square. I hope you found this helpful.